Lesson 8, Palm Spinning. Palm spinning is a beautiful move as well. And it takes going really slow, I'd, I'd say, instead of going really fast. I kind of learned it wrong in the beginning. I was going really fast, it was really messy, and I thought that I would be able to get it just by doing it this way. And that tilting my hand would create the best moves. Big no-no. I learned how to control my hand after good feedback from good friends and learn how to hold the ball in the furthest possible point on your hand with flat palm in every single point that it can balance. So let's go here, let's move to our index finger and our middle finger, then move to our middle finger and our ring finger. How about our pinky and our fourth and our middle finger, our ring finger? Okay, keeping it as far out from their fingertips as possible. Then we're going to move it to our palm. Now notice I didn't tip my hand to get there. I did a slight adjustment to get the ball onto my palm. So we're going to do that again to the next point, to the next point, to the next point, to the next point. Switch over to the other hand, which is very important. Go in whichever direction you feel comfortable. Okay, think about your shoulders being relaxed. So what I did is I watched TV and I would just go point, know that it's sitting there, move to the next point, know that sweet spot, concentrate on something else, just so it wouldn't get boring for me. As long as I knew that my body was balancing it at every point, I was able to start memorizing these points. Then as you get faster and better at each point, you can connect the movements. Notice how my palm is staying facing up. Now the ball is going in a circular motion around my palm. So with palm spinning, to get the illusion of it staying in one spot, we're going to isolate the ball, and this time our palm is going to move all the way around it. So again, point to point. I'm just going to put my finger here, actually, just so you know. Keep that there. My hand will be moving around the ball. To create that isolation. So now I speed it up a little. Once you get the hang of it, Move your hand, and you got an isolated palm spin. Now it's really beautiful, not so much with these stage balls, but with crystals. I'm going to use a small one, just so that you can see it move better. There you go. And learn the reverse. So I do have crooked fingers, and it's really good to have a flat palm and reach for a flat palm as much as you can. And the reason why we have them as far to the edge of your fingertips as possible is that so you can create this palm spin. Some people create a space in between the palms, no, sorry, in between the balls. Some people touch the balls together. Okay. You can work them out in many different ways. This palm spin can turn into a figure eight. Oops, so you're gonna go figure eight. Okay, or you can go all the way around. So adding two hands together and reversing. So notice I'm not tipping my hands, my hands are nice and flat. And you can do an isolation. Beautiful enough. And you'll see a lot of multi-ball jugglers use the crystals to do palm spinning. So like I said in lesson one, that they're much easier to slide against each other to do this move. So there you have it, that's palm spinning. Just a little intro to that and of course there's a lot of different things you can do with it. 
and experiment with it. So have a good time with this one as well. And remember to always do what moves you. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.